Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys and welcome to another video of Diving Trading. My name is Daniel and today guys we're looking at Danimo Scientific. We're looking at the response to the article that's published in the Wall Street Journal by Danimo Scientific and we're going to have a look at if there's any competition for Danimo Scientific. So let's dive right into it. So guys, those that either follow my channel or if you don't, you know uh, that I am a, a shareholder of Danimo Scientific. I've done a couple of uh, reviews. I've done a, a first of all, I've done a review back a couple of few months ago. Uh, so I'll leave that on the link in the description if you want to know a little bit more about this company. The whole idea, guys, of today is to just go through some... Uh, there's been a little bit of dilemma recently. There's been a bit of news, uh, uh, accusations, nothing really quite concrete. Um, but I suppose a lot of investors are getting a bit worried. So let's have a look. Uh, so we're looking at the response that was given by Danima to a, a Wall Street Journal um, publication that was actually published on the 20th of March, which uh, stated the plastic straws that quickly digrade on the ocean were not quite scientists say. So there's a bit of accusation as to whether this actually, their product is actually legit. Okay, so this was the problem. And now this has come back, and they've come back, uh, so let's have a read of uh, what the what Danim has come back as. So we can download this as PDF if you need to. So let's have a look at the PDF, the original file that we've seen, and here it is. So this was officially published, responded by Danima Scientific on the April 8th, 2021. We have reviewed the article and its questions about the potential for bioplastics. The science speaks for itself in verifying the biodegradability of PHA. PHA is inherently biodegradable and it is naturally produced and consumed in nature by microorganisms. Any claims of biodegradability we make are backed by international testing standards. Study results published by the University of Georgia state that their anaerobic degradation of PHA is similar to that of cellulose powder, which means PHA uh, will degrade at a similar rate as plant matter in a waste treatment facility. The study also demonstrates that in seawater PHA begins to biodegrade over the course of six months while polypropylene I can't pronounce that. Pellets remain intact and in and unchanged. These results show that the PHA is a leg legitimate biodegradable alternative to traditional plastic. The articles point out that the variable environmental conditions can influence in the amount of time it takes for our material to biodegrade. We do not dispute this uh, point and we are very clear about this on our website. Our goal has been and continues to be educating the public on the rigorous research, testing and certifications that this material has undergone before hitting store shelves. Additionally, the following letter to the editor of the Wall Street Journal was sent by Dr. Jason Lachlan, director of the New Materials Institute at the University of Georgia on April 8, 2020. Uh, 21. We believe that this letter clearly states Dr. Lachlan's position on the claims of biodegradability made by Danima Scientific. Okay, so there we have it, guys. So that's the answer there uh, in your face. Uh, it's a lot of uh, it's an accusation. I think they've re responded to it quite well. Uh, it's very true, and I've said this in the video or my previous video. How can a company like this be fake uh, to where they are? They have a big, uh, they have Pepsi. I've said this before. They have a Pepsi as their client. Uh, yeah, we're at thirty three fifty one. So the market hasn't closed yet. It's just about to close. Uh, so yeah, good prices to be getting at. Um, very good prices indeed. If we have a look at the the sixth month, well, we're actually quite really quite low at the moment. Okay, so it could be a good price uh, to get in at the moment. Now, competition. Is there competition? Uh, there could well be. Now, there's this company that I've come across. I've said this. Uh, there's no competition, but this is a company that I have to do more research into. Uh, I haven't done research. I'll probably do a separate video on that. Um, uh, this caught my attention. Uh, the company is called Origin Materials, and they're said to be uh, supposedly a SPAC merger very soon. Uh, now, 
SPACs. I'm trying to stay away from SPACs. So this company currently is not on the uh, any exchange, but they're said to be SPAC merging soon. Let's just go through a few key points uh, about this company. So Origin Materials, market leader in disruptive materials technology to combine the Arteus Cretane first publicly traded pure play carbon negative materials company. So as I mentioned before, so they're going to go into a SPAC. Uh, it's not yet confirmed yet uh, with a company called the SPAC merger will be called Arteus Acquisition which is uh, on the NASDAQ under these ticker symbols. And that was announced back in uh, February 17th. So, yeah. So let's have a look at a few key points, which is really quite interesting. So they were founded in 2008. Origin is the world's leading carbon negative materials company with a mission to enable the world's transition to sustainable materials, patented back breakthrough platform technology for producing recyclable and sustainable materials makes net zero possible origins disruptive technology is drop uh, in ready replacing fossil resources used to make a variety of everyday products using materials derived from abundant non-food resources wood residue okay so they're actually using wood okay here so they're substitute they're using wood to make these biodegradable um um, plastics okay so it's different to uh, Danima scientific uh, so they're using a different type of technology and again looks like they have patents on that product so that's what we have to realize because okay? so for example Danima scientific has no DAX they've painted that and then this company obviously has their own product okay which is better I do not know that's probably why we need to go in and do a further analysis on that on a, on a separate video uh, so yeah, um, Origins decarbonization technology addresses a trillion dollar market opportunity and is anticipated to re revolutionize the production of a wide range of end products including clothing, textiles, plastics, packaging, car parts, tires, carpeting, toys and more. The business co combination is expected to fully fund Origin until EBITDA positive and allows Origin to scale and commence uh, commercial production to meet signed customers offtake and capacity reservations of a $1 billion uh, across a div, uh, yeah, $1 billion uh, across a diverse range of industries. Okay, so now this is the next part. This is interesting. This is actually what's caught my attention, guys. Okay, so look at this, because if you remember, I've talked about in Danima in my videos, and I've told you that Danima is backed up uh, one of their clients is Pepsi. Now here we go. Re listen to this one. All Origin stock uh, stockholders, including the current members of the Natural All Bottle Alliance, Dan Danone, Nestle Waters, and PepsiCo, will roll 100% of their equity holdings into the new public company. Okay, so this is what this is interested me. This is actually what's caught my attention is this, because it just so happens that Pepsi. Uh, is to do with Danima as well. They're probably taking both worlds, both companies. Uh, so yeah, this is interesting. Uh, now yeah, it goes on to talk about their their transactions. What is expected to uh, bring in revenue, etc. So yeah, this is interesting, guys. This is probably worth a good investigation. Probably worth another video. Uh, so uh, let me know in the comments, guys. Let me know in the comments down below. Are you? Uh, and do you know about this company? Let me know what you have to say. I really want to hear about it. Uh, guys, uh, I probably would do a review on this very soon because I think it's really worth doing a review on it. Whether investing in it or not, I do not know. That's not uh, I can't tell you at the moment because I haven't done proper DD on it. But uh, it's interesting. Let's see how this, uh, how this uh, rolls out. So guys, thanks for watching my video. Uh, don't forget to hit that like button. And also, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. That really helps my channel grow. Guys, thank you for watching. Speak to you soon and take care now. Bye-bye.